This is a prayer and a reminder. All we have is now. Anak, umuwi ka na. Worldwide this morning, growing concern over a growing health crisis. The World Health Organization has just declared that this is a pandemic. I can't hug you, don't touch me. <laughs> over the last several days, we have seen peaceful demonstrations. Protests over police brutality continued here in Austin. Remember when you started going to college? You came home a liberal? Dad, please. That's what we do to you guys in this point. All these people that we never met and never will meet because of what had happened to them. It's just too much. The way that our family communicates is not necessarily, um, it's not great. What advice would you give for those of us that are struggling? Live with it. I think the norm for our community has mm -hmm. been to just stay silent and like keep to your own business. I could definitely be doing more than I'm doing right now, and I know that others can as well. What if someone is called from God to be an activist? I can answer the question. <laughs> Shouting revolution, oh, wow, breaking new tradition. You don't believe in the Black Lives Matter movement? An advocacy group reporting at least 3,800 anti-Asian hate incidents since last March. I'm kind of conflicted. I'm like, maybe I should move home and be here with them. I hope that this moment makes you take a step forward and a step together in the right direction. In order for a subject to not be taboo in our community, there always has to be like someone to start that conversation. Yeah. You speak up for me when I can't speak up for myself. And I've seen you do that for other people. I see a lot of people who just kind of cut off friends and family, and I don't think I can do that. I love my parents. This is a symbol of our voices. If you look at your neighbors around you, you will see who stands with you, who stands for you. At least I know that you can stand up. That's the thing I'm so happy about.